Hey folks, Charlie Sims here, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a lovely day and thank you for joining me for part two of the small castle build or not so small. <laughs> it ends up being not that small actually, but uh, quite small still for a castle. So if you didn't watch uh, part one, I recommend watching the exterior because uh, I do talk a little bit about the backstories in that and obviously do make the house with all of the gardens. So if you like watching exteriors come together, I highly recommend watching part one. Um, you don't have to, of course, you can just watch part two. But if you would like to, I will link part one in the description down below and I will show a card of part one right now. But right now we are on to the floor plan, of course, because we're straight onto the interior. And um, this was a little bit weird because I did start building on a diagonal. If you didn't watch part one, I built the whole castle on a diagonal, which was fine for the exterior. It just made the interior a bit awkward. Uh, so, yeah, we use a lot of diagonal walls and I think it ends up coming together pretty well, though. I wanted this to feel spacious, even though it is quite small. That's why this is only two bedroom two bedrooms although I mean the two bedrooms are like they're decent uh, for the princesses so yeah I'll just talk to you a little bit about the backstory as well while um, I, I'm doing the bathroom so the the idea behind this was that two princesses live here and they're very restricted in what they can do like they can't go out uh, they've got guards and a maid or oh, we do in this video make bone Hilda's uh, quarters in the basement so yeah, they have Bonehilda to kind of stop them from going out or sneak them out. I don't know. We obviously don't have guards in The Sims. This is just like a bit of fun that I was thinking of at the time. And yeah, they just they don't go out, so they have absolutely loads of hobbies. I mean, of course, like they can they can sneak out. Um, you know, if you want to play like that kind of storyline, if you decide to download this house. But yeah, that's what I was thinking in my mind. So I haven't like created these characters or anything. But yeah, I was thinking that they're princesses that just aren't allowed to go out. And um, that's why their rooms are just chock-a-block with a load of hobbies and things for them to do, basically. So that was kind of fun. And yeah, I did think the backstory I had in my mind was that their parents had died in some sort of accident, which is like sad. Um, but yeah, like if you didn't want that tragic backstory, then I guess um, maybe they live down the road. Sorry, that was my phone. I will um, turn off my pesky phone so that we can be uninterrupted but yeah so I first start off by making this like a traditional um palace so the interior is quite traditional but we we modernize it later and I do think I change up the color scheme of this bathroom I don't know I didn't want it to be stereotypical palace I mean like it is in places certainly not like the um the princess's bedrooms or anything to be honest it's been a while since I actually did this um, build, so I can't quite rem remember, but I'm pretty sure we darken this colour scheme. Um, and I don't know why, because looking at it now, it's quite nice. Um, but I'm sure it's so that it's cohesive with the rest of um, the decisions that were made in the, on the downstairs. Because I do like my interiors to be somewhat cohesive. And now we're onto the kitchen, and I'm using the counters from the Country Kitchen Kit. Um, the ones that I said were not versatile and then since I've been using them in every build so I guess they are pretty versatile in my opinion um, apart from these short cabinets and I know it is a diddy kitchen for a castle which is a shame but I was thinking Bone Hilda is here mostly and the girls actually don't do any cooking because I mean why would you if you were a princess you just wouldn't bother cooking you just eat amazing food made by other people but at the moment I'm just adding an oven making those cabinets work from the country kitchen kit because I think at the time of me doing this I hadn't discovered that there is a lot of cabinets thank god in the game we already have that actually go with the kitchen uh the country kitchen kit but I am talking jungle adventure I'm not talking base game I don't think I think jungle adventure some swatches and some parenthood swatches goes with this kitchen from country kitchen kit so i wouldn't actually recommend like buying it if you just have the base game because I, I don't think the cabinets are that versatile to be honest which um which is a shame that being said like if you have jungle adventure you could potentially buy it you know if you've got a if you've got a spare fiver and you want to you want a bit more content in your game you could potentially buy it but i mean it's not um 
it's not game changing. It's just a cute kitchen. But yeah, I decided to use it for um, the kitchen area of the castle because I was thinking that this is really the butler's maid kitchen rather than anywhere where the princesses would actually go. So I thought for that reason, it was actually okay that it looked a little bit country. Um, and yeah, as I said, I'm just kind of obsessed with that kitchen kit. And now we're onto the dining room, which initially ends up quite cramped until I open it up. I, I, I will later open this up. And we have like a nice big living room, but yeah, I think I just need to bulldoze that wall to the left and I do that later. And then we open it up into the corridor, which I did want a separate dining room. However, this is a small castle, so I guess sacrifices must be made so there's no separate dining table uh sorry there's no separate dining room it's it's in the corridor there were certain things that i wanted in this castle one of which was a big corridor i wanted double width stairs like kind of grand stairs and i wanted a bathroom on both floors and i didn't want the bathroom to be cramped so those were the things that i wanted and i did want a dining a separate dining room but i think it, it works being in the corridor like I think it's fine and the corridor is quite grand as well it's only the kitchen and the butler's quarters that aren't grand but um I'm pretty sure we also changed this color scheme up but again I really can't remember I just think we darken everything that's why I didn't initially show you all of my wallpaper choices because we end up changing it I do actually yeah I end up changing this quite a bit it just goes all dark soon because uh, I think it looks fine right now but like kind of meh i don't know i think feel like it looks a little bit boring at the moment the living room i really like it might possibly be my favorite room in the castle but we'll get on to that soon for now i'm just decorating the corridor so we have like some seating areas i also wanted to put a fireplace and then add some decoration that mirror goes late later as well when i change up the color scheme but a lot of this is kept the bookcase the seating it's all it's all kept we just we just make the color scheme a bit more fun uh and kind of i think a bit more modern as well so right now we're picking a really dated rug and then I'm now moving on to the living room. So we decide to go with a marble flooring well, that I think looks really good. And then I size down that huge TV from movie hangout stuff and I'm just adding some seating. So I think at this point I decide that it is far too white and then we change the colour scheme up. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the living room that kind of evokes some change because I just thought at the moment it was just looking really boring and I thought the entire house can't be like this because, um, as I said, I, I like cohesiveness. So this is me starting to add the pops of colour, um, playing with like some, some darker shades. I really like those curtains as well. I think they're really grand and they just suit that a lot. And then I think... This wall can be like the kind of accent wall. And then, yeah, we just kind of warm warm the whole of the living room up, really. And I think I changed these chairs a few times. I can't really remember, to be honest. I, I, I remember cutting a lot out for the editing. Um, but I can't remember if this is the colour scheme we go for. I think it is, yeah. We still have the marble flooring. Uh, I later put a big rug down as well. Uh, a big colourful rug. And I do swap that cheetah lamp, even though I was contemplating the cheetah lamp. And now I'm just cluttering up this end table with a few things, moving those flowers. Um, I think, yeah, I was thinking of cluttering up with this gold dog, but then I thought, actually, that'll look good on the fireplace. And we also put some decorative vases next to the fireplace as well, because I always think they look quite posh. Um, so yeah, I wanted a lot of kind of sculptures in this castle and, and there are like quite a few sculptures. Yeah, anything that looks kind of remotely posh. So we add and then anything that doesn't look posh, we don't add. Also add that gold eagle that we got from the paranormal stuff using some vases from Island Living as well. And then this little cute, I love that thing from Vintage Glamour. That like Chinese dragon on top of the magazines. I think it looks really cool. Think about adding a record player as well. And we do add a record player. 
and yeah um add a little bit of artwork above the record player as well and then i think i just size up some cds that look like vinyls i've done that before and also add a tray of drinks as well and yeah i just really like this living room just switching it up a little bit moving some things around uh, and then I do like add a rug. I think I swap. I do. I swap that rug out later for a more colourful one. Uh, but for now, we just use that rug from Snowy Escape. But as you can see, I've started switching up the colour scheme in the corridor, and we are darkening it all. And I use this dark academia wooden panelling that we get from um, Vampires, the game pack. And we accent it with some blue. And I found this colour scheme on Pinterest and I think it looked really nice. And I also like how the white looks with it as well. I think it's a nice stark contrast. Very bold. We add some artwork and some shelves and a few more modern pieces of art as well, which I really like. And then we add, I think we add a black and white uh, rug. And yeah, I just think it looks really cool. But yeah, I know I mentioned this briefly earlier, but this is not a traditional palace looking or, I mean, I don't know, I haven't been to a palace, but this is not what I would envision a palace to look like. I've, certainly not the living room. Maybe the downstairs corridor and then the upstairs landing because we have this grand um, vampire wall, which um, wallpaper, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of it is quite modern. Um, I mean, looking at it now, like it's been a while since I did it and I didn't want to go that stereotypical route at the time. But I, feel, I don't know how I feel about it now. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if you do like the interior. I'm not sure whether I do like it now looking at it, but I think, um, I don't know whether that's just me being harsh because, you know, you're your own worst critic. Um, but, and certainly I like the room separately. I just don't know whether it all marries together. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, I was looking at a series of pictures on Pinterest. Um, I don't know why I call it Pinterest. Pinterest. Um, cause I wasn't really sure what exactly I wanted to go for. And it started off... I don't know, being really stereotypical and boring, but I'm not sure whether I should have um, kept that. Oh, okay, so we make the we make the bathroom cohesive then. That's good. So the bathroom matches the corridor, and I think I also make the upstairs bathroom mahogany as well. But we don't put it on. Um, it, it's not on the video because this this interior is so long, and I'm not even sure how I feel about it now. You know, when you do something and you're just not sure. How you feel because it's like a little bit out of your comfort zone i certainly feel like it is grand um certainly this bit because i think we put some like jewels and other things down here and i mean it's a small castle so you would probably normally have like a separate room for the queen's jewels or whatever but um we just didn't have we didn't have enough room for that so we ended up putting them in the corridor but we are now on to the bedroom a bedroom one of two and yeah, this is one of the princess's bedrooms and yeah, I'm just using that bed that I don't normally use, but I thought it was really grand and we kind of match it with the wall. I also changed that couch out because I realised that that really isn't a match for this kind of aqua teal. So we do change the couch uh, at some point and then I'm kind of making this collage of photos. I thought that would be quite nice. Uh, they both have very nice rooms this is when i start thinking about their personalities and that's when i start thinking that they have loads and loads and loads of hobbies because uh they can't leave the um castle uh for their protection uh so yeah just pulling out a few things to put on these shelves and i i thought the shelves kind of acted as end tables or at least that's what they were in my ha head anyway just some end tables i thought they look cosy being that low as well and also we get some really big end tables so I just didn't think that they quite fit um I don't know that the space we had in this room and I was also the I think that's the curtain that's like poking up on the floor and I kind of wanted to cover that we do end up covering it later and now I'm just doing a little trick where I I place the mirror remove the wall then line the mirror up and make it a bit lower because a lot of a lot of mirrors seem to hang quite high on the walls but right now i'm making a bespoke wardrobe 
So what I do is I pull out the wall decals from Snowy Escape and then I use them to cover these jackets up. Um, just because I didn't want the jackets on display but I quite liked the shoes being on display and I also hang a TV on there or well put a TV in front uh, as well to hide that coat sleeve that's coming out and I think that looks like a built-in unit kind of I quite like it and we also put some shelves below the TV unit as well and yeah just add some books onto that was just really enjoying um, doing something a little bit different making some bespoke furniture so that's what we do here and I also pull out a little like a trio of cactuses but I end up like putting them into the wardrobe so it looks like there's just one cactus there there that's what I did and uh, I thought that looked quite nice uh, and now I'm just using these curtains that I love from uh, paranormal stuff pack oh my god there's so many packs um and I also have really bad short-term memory so there you go but right now I'm using a little trick um that I don't know you might have seen um I didn't invent it uh there's yeah I've seen quite a few people do this uh, and yeah I think I think it looks really nice also we don't have much room here so I think that's why I just thought I'll, I'll do the desk area as shelves um so yeah I wanted to make that chair on a bit of a diagonal for some reason however um I think you could literally just face it to like not put it on a diagonal and just let it clip to um, the computer and then the computer's functional then and then you can still get to the bed on the other side so I don't know why I did that but right now I'm making like a a big unit again um because yeah they've got quite big rooms so I thought I'd add some big units just covering up this weird set of two cabinets stacked because I didn't like how they looked and then I put a mirror in front of it and I thought that looked like much better I thought that looked really cool I just pulled out a load of debug items as well so they've got loads of books like really random books as well because I just thought well they're at home they probably read about everything I got like a spellcaster book out um, some knitting books. I also do like to pull out a knitting yarn basket. But yeah, right now we're just still doing the little desk. i just thinking what else to pull out. I think I'll pull out a violin for this princess as well. And then I'm just adding some more books because, uh, yeah, I think that um, this sim loves books. So, yeah, we're just adding like this kind of bespoke stack of books and I really like this because it looks like it's built in to the desk um so yeah I quite liked that that worked out I wasn't really expecting that and then I put a mirror in the back so she's got a lot of mirrors um yeah I changed that couch out and I think that couch looks a lot better from um paranormal stuff uh, I'm going to stop naming the pack soon because my memory is so bad. Uh, but right now we're doing the second princess's bedroom and I just wanted to switch the colour scheme up a little bit. She's got the same things, um, built-in units, mirrors, except I thought she would be really into painting. So um, yeah, she's got like a little painting corner. I also changed the colour scheme. So we make the colour scheme a little bit darker. And I also changed the wall units slightly, but they're basically the same. I also use the corner piece of this counter from base game because it's triangle and I think it's really nice. Um, and that's where I put a, just a little lamp and some other things that you would have typically by your bed at night. So yeah, also adding some photos and a dream catcher, just finishing up this collage of pictures. And yeah, just adding some books and some pencils and then some sporting equipment as well, because maybe, I don't know, she plays tennis in the house or in the gardens. There are also gardens to this build that are on part one. If you haven't checked that out and you're interested in looking at the gardens, that's in part one. I'm also giving this sim a vanity table. So we add a load of makeup from Debug and then I add this tray from Parenthood, I believe. And yeah, now I'm just making a little art corner. We do give her a desk, but yeah, she's not as into reading as her sister. So uh, yeah, we just, it, it's more for maybe her art research and things like that. And then I think like if she wants to read, she'll probably just pop into her sister's room and nick a book or something. And yeah, just sizing down that fan. I thought that was nice to have a fan here. Just giving her a little lamp that I size down as well. Doing that shelf trick again. 
because yeah i just think that looks really good and yeah just cluttering up this um shelving unit i don't know i mean it's not really just just some shelves right uh but yeah i quite like that piece that's a good space filler that is because uh, i really wasn't sure what to do with that space but this is nice give her a couple of books i think like maybe these are books that she's nicked from her sister again random books about things things about life because they can't go out pretty sad really uh but that's yeah that's what i thought in my head like they just read about everything that was just uh what i was thinking when i did this that was the inspiration give her a lot of mirrors as well um I don't know why. <laughs> just the bedrooms are so big. And then I also think that maybe she wants to go to uni. So I added those things as well so that she could have like a bit of a goal. I, you know, because royalty, they do go to um, university. Um, Prince William went to St. Andrews and that's where he met Kate. I, I don't know how I know that. Um, <laughs> I just do. But uh, yeah, so happens. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just making the display area for the crown jewels. I don't know. I feel like they should probably be in a vault but this is a quote unquote small tiny castle so we had to make do with what we've we got also got a sewing guitar there and also adding an organ in as well just for something a little bit different uh so yeah i'm sure you've worked out by now but this isn't a pack restricted build but i will be doing some more pack, rest pack restricted builds in the future uh, so if you've got any suggestions, I was thinking of doing a base game and something else. Whether that's a game pack or an expansion pack or a stuff pack, I don't mind which. So please let me know what you would like to see on the channel. But right now we are just switching up the landing a little bit. Quite a big space. Also do swap the organ, which I forgot that I did that. Uh, yeah, adding some rugs and then I think I'm just filling up the corners with some various other heirlooms that they have or artifacts or gifts from other countries. I don't know. But right now we are actually making the walkway up to the bell tower. As you can see, I have sized up though that light from um, City Living and that's what I used as the bell in the bell tower. And I thought that kind of worked. And now we are on to Bonehilda's little downstairs flat. So I have to make entryway for the basement. So we use, I, I just move the corridor up one tile and then we just get some ladders down here and then a secret bookcase to uh, Bonehilda's lair. And I guess her flat looks a little bit dungeony, but I just think that's what Bonehilda likes rather than her staying anywhere that she doesn't like. I think she would quite like it. We also give her a coffin as well after I found out that your sims can actually sleep in a coffin. I don't know whether they get a mood lit or what, but um, I thought she had to have a coffin. And we do utilise the split levelling a little bit here. So I put uh, the coffin up on a platform and... Uh, yeah, just making some room for a bathroom here. And yeah, I think this changes quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm just making a raised area for her bed. And then we're making another raised area for the kitchen. And then that, uh, that room off to the left is the bathroom. And we're just widening it a little bit for the living room because she's got some living quarters down here as well. And I think this is quite a nice layout. I was getting a weird glitch here. Um, yeah, the stairs were just kind of glitching out. So I just had the platform raise once because uh, your sim can um, just directly walk onto a platform if it's only raised by one. So yeah, we just raised the platform one. And yeah, I was trying to make like a little divided section for the kitchen. So I was just using some fence there. I think we swapped this fence out. As I said, it's been a while. Do try to use these country kitchen counters, but I don't think they quite work. I swap the counters out a lot. I think we settle with the ones from Perfect Patio. Yeah, I think we settle with that. But yeah, just giving her like a little kitchen, nothing fancy. And yeah, I'm just making everything look a little bit older because um i don't know i feel like it looks a bit too posh given that this looks like a dungeon so um yeah we we changed that up and yeah these are counters from perfect patio stuff i believe and yeah looking at this we haven't really got any counters for a dungeon like <laughs> i know that seems like a bizarre thing to say but we haven't got any really grungy counters they're all quite nice this is just me pulling out some clutter, just cluttering up 
a little bit. We don't clutter up too much because Bone Hilda is neat. Um, we, I actually do remove a bit more of this clutter because I do realise she hasn't actually got a counter to work on. So, or do I just move everything? There we go. I remove a little bit of clutter. And yeah, just put in a little teapot on the oven. I thought that looked cute. And now I'm just, yeah, adding a bit of detail. Uh, I think we give her uh, Chester drawers, yeah, from Realm of Magic. And I put these two together and then I realised that there's already like a, a double Chester drawers. So we add them and add in a little mirror as well. And then we're just going to clutter up this chest of drawers with uh, some flowers. Nothing too posh. I don't know whether she likes flowers, um, but we haven't got any dead flowers. So I left some live flowers and then, yeah, just giving us some. I thought even though the couch looked uncomfortable, I thought like maybe that couch was comfortable for Bone Hilda. So that's why we put that kind of part bench down because I thought, oh, well, she might find that comfy because she's all bones apart from her breasts of course i don't know why she's got breasts or whether it's a protruding rib cage or what i think it's weird that she's a skeleton and she's got breasts it bothered me more than the fact that she didn't have a coffin like that really bothered me um but right now we are just making her bathroom and we do actually have three bathrooms in this build um i just omitted the footage of one bathroom because uh, it, it just ended up being like a really long video but there are there are three bathrooms one on each floor but right now we are just clutching up her bathroom and then I switch one of the bookcases out for a seance table because I realised we need a seance table to summon her, summon her and then this is basically the end of the speed build so thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please hit the like button and if you'd like to see more content from me please hit subscribe catch you later